Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Vault Hunters the Galaxy Over. My name is Ted Diggy and I am fully caffeinated and highly motivated to bring you another Malawan Takedown playthrough video. Now this one is kind of special because this one is a sequel. This is the sequel to my uh, John Wick Zane build. Uh, the first version of the John Wick Zane build was designed when we only had normal Malawan takedown or nerfed Malawan takedown. Now I suspect some of you who may be watching this are coming to this game newly from Steam and so you don't know all the changes that's been happening over the life of this game and one of the changes that happened is when the first Malawan takedown which is the raid in the game was released it was locked at four player scaling and there was a lot of whining and bitching and moaning and they changed it so that it was party size so if there was only one player in a party it was scaled to one player but now they've given us true metal one takedown mode and that is what this switch does it enables or disables it which means that even though I am a solo player I am capable of playing it at the hardest difficulty which is four player now the uh, during that period when I did not have access to the difficult version I created a bunch of what I call meme builds and I call them meme builds because for all intents and purposes they were a joke at four player scaling they would not be effective at all and this was one of them but I liked it a lot it's called the John Wick Zane build and it's an homage to uh, John Wick which is the name of the movie and the name of the title character of that movie starting Keanu Reeves and it's about a retired assassin and in the first movie John Wick's primary weapon were pistols and so I put together a non-meta pistol build made of doll and uh, I took it into the raid and it was a lot of fun as you can see I have a lot of fun uh, if I can actually hit my shots um, doing this thing something's behind me, it's a freaking dog, a lot of enemies this is what 4 player scaling does, you have a shit ton more enemies and they are harder to kill and so our ability to land our hip fired crits kind of crucial to how this works so this is the sequel version and what makes it viable now where it was not viable for a lot of different things uh, I always like to prioritize the dogs one of the most important things that happened is that there's a level cap increase the old version was at level 50 now we're at level 53 now when the level cap increase came out there was a lot of talk in the community and I gotta warn you if you're new to this and you're coming uh, to this game from Steam, if you hang out on the forums, you're going to hear people say a lot of stupid shit because there are a lot of stupid people on the forums. And that's not just the forum. The world is just filled with stupid people saying stupid shit. And, uh, you know, trying to get at the truth of things can be a real challenge sometimes. And that's what I try to do in my on my channel and my content is to keep it real. Let you guys know the truth, the real deal, not the bullshit. So you can make informed decisions if you're an intelligent person. Like, you cannot make an informed decision if you're a moron. So, you know, part of the goal for you is to not be a moron and try to be as intelligent as possible. That's on you. So, my job is to provide you with some useful information, a different way of thinking about the game and possibly playing the game. And it's, you know, your job is to kind of do what you want with it and not be a moron. Anyway, point is, three points uh, increase to a level cap and a lot of people were like what the f was that about not really understanding the ramifications and one of the ramifications of that three point increase is that it made us the player uh, about on average about 33 percent more powerful but it did not increase the damage or the health of the enemies by the same rate that we got more powerful right so basically it's across the board buff to us is what the three point level cap increase meant and it wasn't ridiculous because you know we're not like well we actually are ridiculously OP but it wasn't because of the three point that made us OP we just are because that's how these vaults see the hitbox on these frost bites are a pain in the ass so I'm gonna change gears and get my reset off of this guy he died instead of giving me my reset let's see if we can't get this guy he was retreating got it so he was retreating, which means he wasn't shooting at me, which is why I made him my priority. Get, get down. Get down. Get. I said get down. I'm not landing my headshots. 
Uh, one of the things I am doing though is I'm ignoring the shock heavyweights because I'm wearing a shield called the Transformer and the Transformer legendary effect is that it absorbs 100% shock and converts it into shield. So I'm intentionally uh, not engaging with this guy because he's keeping my shields full. And so basically he's working for me and he doesn't know it. I've contracted him in an almost slave relationship where he's working for free and not getting paid. And I don't notice I said almost because it's not completely. Because the difference is slaves actually knew they were getting the wrong end of the deal. He doesn't. He's oblivious to the fact that I'm using him. I really hate their hitboxes. Finally! Let's see if I can't get a hit up with somebody don't here. Say I didn't warn you. So the three point level cap increase means that we're more powerful uh, than before. The other change that happened is that in the last three weeks, Gearbox has been buffing. He's been buffing all of these weapons, a, a bunch of weapons. And one of the weapons that got buffed is the Nemesis. So I think this, as soon as I get rid of these guys, we're going to go into the build and all that stuff. And you'll see what's going on. And a lot of what I'm doing hopefully will make more sense to you then. Let's get this, this bad boy seasoned up. So this is the Kraken. He is the first mini boss of the uh, of the raid. I'm using this gun called the Zaitsev Eruptions. Alright, let's get these guys killed. My barrier was full. Let's get out. You gotta know when to get out sometimes. Wait for my shields to come back. Now this is four player difficulty. So it is supposed to be challenging. I'm just going to kill him on principle. And I'm almost out of ammo, so let's deal with that. Oh my goodness, I wasn't even using the right artifact and we were still kicking kicking ass. Alright, this should that should be enough ammo for our needs. I'm trying to find the freaking opening. Alright, let's get him nice and seasoned up. I'm standing inside the shock thingy so that I can keep my shield full. And I'm just ignoring these guys because my barrier allows me, thanks to the turrets field, to basically push them back. Let's get the fuck out of here. As you can see, I'm frozen so I can't slide. Let's go. Alright, let's get into the, gil blah blah blah, the gear and the skill tree. Fill that up. Okay, so uh, this is John Wick build. In the first movie, John Wick's primary weapons were pistols, and this is why this is an homage to John Wick, because we all have, these are all pistols here, with the exception of the Zeiss of Eruption. Uh, we have the Shocking A, which is an excellent shock pistol. It's not very good at range. This is a closed range weapon, which is um, why we have other options, because when we need longer range things in the boss fight, this is not going to cut it. But for mobs, this is going to be our primary for stripping shields. This is for flesh, and this is for uh, armor. Now, a big shout out to Semantics B for hooking me up with the level 53 versions of the AA and the Nemesis. And as I said before, one of the benefits that makes one of the changes that happened that makes this build viable in uh, true Metal One Takedown mode, which is four-player scaling, is the three-point increase to the skill cap, which means level 53 guns hit about 30% harder than level 50 guns. And then on top of that, in the last three weeks, Gearbox has been buffing a lot of guns, and the Nemesis just last week, Thursday, received a buff, So, which is why we have the Nemesis here. Usually, or in the original John Zane build, we had a Hornet in this slot, but I've replaced it with the Nemesis due to the fact that it did get that nice juicy buff. We're going to be running the Transformer Shield along with the Stop Gap. The Stop Gap is for the, the boss fight, the Transformers for everything else. Uh, we have a pretty nice comm here, and what makes this one so good for this build is because of the 48% dull uh, critical hit damage and the 33% um, pistol damage, but really the 48% critical hit. Uh, we got the cut purse, that's just for ammo, but we're going to be running with the Icebreaker Victory Rush for the most part. And the piss, 
because the piss is a bomb diggity grenade as far as I'm concerned for Zane because it gives us uh, for this one at least we get the grenade throw anointment so that's a flat 25% damage buff on everything and we get another 20% damage buff for anything that gets the grenade dropped on them for six seconds okay so that's the gear oh well the Zeitz of eruptions for those who are new and don't know it's a kind of middle of the road assault rifle but its special ability is when it goes to reload or in the case of COV weapons when it overheats it ejects uh, a stream of eight projectiles or piss I call it and each one of those does 20% more damage uh, or causes whatever that got the um, the projectile on them to take 20% more damage. Which is why I sometimes call it the piss because it behaves like the piss except it's in a assault rifle form. And so that can stack. So you'll see me, for example, melee or you'll see me pointing my, my drone at something. And I'm not just doing that for shits and giggles. I'm doing it to interrupt the, um, the overheating animation to cause it to eject multiple streams of projectiles. Okay. Uh, for the build, I'm, I'm specking heavily into the Hitman trees primarily because I want to get down to playing dirty and booms and uh, violent violence because these two are crucial for the DPS of burst fire weapons. Violent violence because it's um, more shots downrange, right? It's it's a fire rate increase. So the more bullets we're putting downrange, the more damage that we're doing. And playing dirty because, as you can see, the Nemesis is doing 1,273. So anything over 1,000, I think playing dirty is a good choice, uh, as long as it's not a multi-pellet weapon. Um, so that's why that was the choice made for those particular guns. Violent momentum because there's a lot of hip firing. So I'm not because I'm not ADSing, it means that I should be getting the full... 20% gun damage boost just from walk speed. So by strafing and moving back and forth while hip firing, I'm shooting to get that basic 20% increase. And then I should get more increase because violence improves movement speed, not just sprint speed. So strafing speed, that back and forth also increase for even more damage. Uh, as you can see with these guns, they, the, the Shocking A has really small magazine size, so it's definitely going to be gated. Its DPS is definitely going to be gated by reload speed. And, um, you know, at 24 in the, in the mag, that's not a lot for a burst fire weapon. So our DPS will be gated by reload speed. Hence, I've maxed out cool hands to maximize my reload speed. Death follows close always. Drone delivery because that's the only way we're going to get grenades to drop and we want our grenade anointment and we want the piss debuff. And we talk about this and then this good misfortune is to keep our action skills up uh, because of its interaction with our calm seeing dead. Now, if you're new to the game, you might not know about seeing dead, but the seeing dead's legendary effect is whenever you shoot something, not when you kill something, but whenever you shoot something, you have a chance to activate all of your kill skills. And as you can see, just about everything in uh, the Hitman tree is a kill skill, right? Um, so the interaction here is that we can trigger this and keep our action skills reset more frequently with good misfortune. Uh, for this is the kind of our CCC build, the Comco cool Collected build, and it's all around this skill right here where when your shields are max and your health is max and you free something um, you uh, reset all your action skills right so it used to say whenever Jane Friesman is in blah 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 Zane shields are in your foot blah blah blah, blah. It used to say killed I guess they changed the text it used to say whenever Zane kills a frozen enemy it, it resets his action skill but they changed the text to correctly say when he freezes an enemy while his action skills and his health is full it will uh, reset his action skills. Okay, so I always go with, most of the time I go with all-rounder and deterrence field for the raid because those are the best options. I'm going with winner's drone and bad dose. Winner's drone, bad dose for the movement speed, winner's drone because it helps our drone activate calm, cool, collected because of this. So the iceberg to victory rush gives us 52% cryer efficiency uh, versus frozen enemies and it also gives us 18 well this particular one gives us 29% cryo efficiency that's really important because it, and the 18% cryo damage those are really important because it means that our drone has a better chance of freezing enemies on our behalf and since a lot, some of the enemies in here have armor and 
uh, cryo does more damage against armor, it gives the drone an even better possibility of freezing things. And when the drone freezes things, that gives us a chance for it to proc calm, cool, collected. So especially when you see me fighting death spheres, you'll see them getting frozen even though I'm not landing headshots. And you know, brain freeze is supposed to be the one that does the freezing because we land headshots, but we won't be landing headshots. So the combination of our drone, our sentinel cryo, and increases the cryo damage and cryo efficiency uh, will result in a lot more activation of calm, cool, collected than it otherwise would do. Okay, so let's put on the right gear for this bit. Let's get that out there. I'm uh, about to get our Sentinel Cryo back. Got it. Alright. Sorry about that. My mics keep cutting off. Oh, fuck I just lost my, my special ability, so I need to get it back. Let's get these guys stripped. I need to buy a new mic. This is bullshit. Yeah, we're not even going to fuck around. We're just going to stick with the brainstormer to get these guys because we don't want to be here all day trying to get this done. And especially this badass. Who sh shields won't wow, strip. There we go. Alright. That's all we're going to need for that for this phase. So we're going to keep bumping this guy. And the whole point is so that he won't go airborne. Because when he goes airborne, he has this this unblockable attack. Okay, he just got pissed on. Let's get this out. So the stacking of the piss and the eruption is how we're able to do that. Let's get some more. He got pissed on again. Up, oh, he went airborne, but I think we can get him. So clearly, the the sequel is working uh, at four player scaling. He just got John Wick. Whenever I land a headshot, he's getting John Wick, right? He's just getting popped like a scrub. I can ignore most of the bosses and uh, get rid of the ads. You want to get rid of these the dogs. You want to get rid of the shielded guys because their sword does AOE damage. There's a whole host of reasons to get rid of those guys and ignore the boss. Because the boss is not the most threatening thing on the field right now. So these guys, I'm going to leave those for second wins. And let's get us some eruption out. Again, this is me just pointing to reset the uh, animation so that I can get more eruptions out. And you can see that they stack and then you can... Oh my, that was such a beautiful shot. I'm gonna leave this guy. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Let's wait for action skills to come back because this is four player scaling. No need to be stupid. No point in making mistakes. Alright, let's go. We're gonna clear the ads. Get our sentinel cryo out. Get the headshot. Get behind this guy. Why he revels in his awesomeness. We're gonna fuck him up. Now the most difficult one to kill is the frostbite because they don't freeze, so we can't get brain freeze, we can't do 30% more damage. And they have these really funky hitboxes where you shoot the shit out of them and it doesn't count like that. Alright, let's see if we can get some resets here. We did. Now let's go find the boss and focus him. Again, we're leaving these minions on purpose. Wait, I kind of swore I switched to that. We're leaving these minions on purpose because we want to make sure that we can get a second win. Yeah, these guys are easy to kill. Let's get a reset. That was a good shot. It didn't start out that way. I was missing all, all my tracking shots. Oh my god, he got John Wick, bitch. 
That was some John Wick shit. This is a badass. And uh, we're at four. Oh shit, we gotta get this guy. No, 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 he went airborne. He went airborne. We're not gonna fuck around with him. He is really, really dangerous. See that puddle of shock? It will just fuck us up. Let's get him dead. You're not gonna get avenged. I'm just gonna kill everything, so... You know, get that bullshit delusion out of your head. You just need to be reprogrammed, is really what it boils down to. That's just really, at the end of the day, is what it's all about. Your programming's all fucked up. Uh, you think that we, somebody's gonna avenge you. You're a freaking robot. No one's gonna avenge you. No one gives a shit. This is an egotistical robot, and he has to die for being egotistical. Because the only egos here are me and my uh, clone. Everybody else don't matter. You're the only ones that matter. So, as you can see, even against the Justice Spec Apps, when we did the badass, we had no trouble. We we're, were having no trouble killing at floor period scaling with this John Wick build because of all the absolutely fantastic things that happen, which are the um, increase, uh, skill cap increase, the nemesis buff, and friendship. Why do I say friendship? Because I got this gun and this gun from a friend, and I want to call out my very special friend, Semantics B. Thank you, sir, for making this video possible. Um, now, speaking of videos being possible, I am not going to be making or I have not been making and I will continue to not make a ton of videos over the next couple weeks because Mayhem 2.0 is coming out which is a complete restructuring or redesign of Mayhem and uh, you know all these Mayhem 4 videos are going to be obsolete once Mayhem 2 comes out because people want the new hotness and uh, you know I try to showcase how to do things differently how to not fall prey to the meta by having a brain in your head, that's kind of the secret. Don't be an idiot is really the rule. Uh, if you can follow that rule, you'll be alright. If you can't, then there's nothing I can do for you. So, I'm, I was kind of holding back until Mayhem 2 .0 comes out. Let me kill this guy. No, wait, I don't need to kill him. He needs to keep my shield up. What the hell am I doing? Um, until Mayhem 2.0 comes out. You couldn't hit a cow's ass without Let's get this guy. Okay, he wants my... You saw that reflection. So you want to make sure you're on the right side of him when you're shooting him. That reload was unnecessary, but whatever. Okay, we got a flamethrower, so we'll just keep it on shock. See, I love... The, see, this is why I love the John Wick game. That, I love that animation for ADSing on this gun. It just really made me think of the John Wick movies when I saw it. Which is why I, I put everything together as doll, primarily because of the AA. And I kind of down the side kind of look. It's just really, you know, it's just really cool looking, I think. It, it makes me moist. I'm, I'm not going to lie. You know, I someone suggested I don't talk about my game turn-ons, but then I'm not being true to myself. You, you want me to be a liar? You, you know, you want me to be a poser? I can't. I have to tell the people the truth. Reload makes me moist. Oh, wrong one. And I actually worry. That sentinel cry at work for you. So we're not going to fight these guys. Come on. We're just going to get this done because I don't want this video running too long. And if you've seen the true takedown or you see me play Malawan takedown, you know what's up. And if you haven't seen it, you can go back and look at some of the other videos. Including the the first version of this one, and uh, and see for yourself what it's all about. So now the bridge we have to basically kill everything, so we can't really run past stuff. But I'm going to run down here just to get things to spawn. Do some work, John. As you can see, this is not a ranged weapon. Now that freeze, come on, come that on. freeze was not from headshots. The freeze that I got from the, um, 
to what you would call it, was not a headshot freeze. That is what I was talking about. That three points makes a difference because it affects things in um, in ways that add up, right? So we've got more cryo efficiency, more cryo damage. I don't think that is moving at all. So let's address that issue. More cryo efficiency, more cryo damage, which means that uh, our clone, I mean our drone can do more freezing for us or on our behalf when you couple it with the damage or the cryo stuff that we're doing. Why is that not registering as a crit? Thank you. Okay, I think that's good enough. I don't want to, to stray too far away from these guns for uh, for mobs. We're, we're definitely not going to be using this stuff for the boss fight. But we are using it for the mobs because I wanted to make sure that I showcase that it is effective at clearing mobs. That's the whole point. You know, it wasn't effective before, but it's effective now. And I'm not even using Zeiss of Eruption that much for this stuff. Okay, fine. You want my undivided attention, Fire Flamethrower, here. You happy? Double tap, double tap. And he's done. Get this dog. Yeah, so I want to showcase that these weapons are viable where they weren't before, but they are now. Why am I shooting you with the wrong gun? Here we go. That was overkill. Now, overkill is weird on burst fire weapons because unless the last bullet in the burst is the killing shot, you lose your overkill. So now watch. See, this doesn't work. Look at that. You see, he, he can dodge all of that. So we gotta wait for him to get closer. Uh, we gotta pick another target. All right, he's closer. Let's get this guy. We got 300 rounds. I think that should be enough to get us through. Stop running, you coward! Oh my god! Oh my god! I hate you so much. As if we can't get a freeze. Yeah, that, those were not headshots, but I froze them anyway and got my action skill reset. That's the benefit of three points. When people were saying three points were useless. Nah, it's not useless. You were just too stupid to realize it. Now, the beautiful thing about being stupid is that it's not a permanent condition. It is temporary, unless you decide to make it permanent. But that's on you, that not me. So Indeed it wasn't. It was not hard at all. So I'm, I'm waiting till I get close enough so I can actually hit his ass because at range, oh crap. Alright, here we go. He just walked right into it. No, he didn't. Come on! Now you're done. Because this thing has range for days. Yep. Cryo efficiency, cryo damage, it's a thing. Once you have the level 50 version, level 53 versions of stuff. All right, the music has stopped because shit just got real. The game is nervous. Wotan knows I'm coming for it, and therefore Wotan has stopped the music because he's scared. And can you blame him? You know, when you see this John Wick Zane shit, boom, look at that. That's this boom, 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 like that. You, you know, you gotta like get nervous, right? You gotta be a little bit concerned that your time has come I need a reset. Just dodge that guy. I'm gonna get my reset. Thank you. Well, let's get this guy. We're, we're leaving the uh, the shock heavyweight because he'll just keep our shields full. Let's get this guy. Okay, I'm gonna stumble him. Try to get a, a piece of his backpack. Now he's just gonna jump out in front of me like that. The noise. All right, let, oh, come on, guys. I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to kill everybody but you, and you don't respect it. Ah, stumble, 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 stumble. Finding that crit in all of this chaos. That is the John Wick way. Look at that. Finding that crit is just a beautiful thing. Finally. Who is left? Bad. I'm out of ammo. Oh, shit. I thought I had enough to deal with what's going on. Clearly, I did not. Let's create some space. I should have gotten more than that. That's bullshit game. 
Why well, I need a reset screw this. What? Reload. Get her shields. Let's shoot this guy. Get a reset off of him. Got no. Wow, how is that not a reset game? Once again, we're using the shock heavyweight to keep our shields full. The only thing we have to be concerned about is if he knocks us off the bridge. Uh, I doubt that, buddy. I'm going to be the last thing you see. Yep, you're done. You just got John Wicked. John Wicked! Oh my god, I feel so bad for you guys, but I really don't, because you deserve to die. No one told you to work from another one. That was a lifestyle choice that you made, and now you're suffering the consequences. Because you have to fight against Vault Hunters, and you're fighting against me, and I don't give two fucks. I am John Wicken the shit out your asses, because I just don't miss. I don't miss. I don't miss. Look at that. Uh-huh. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss! Wait. I almost missed you. Nope. Did not. Oh my god, I feel bad for you, Dougie. No, I don't. I really don't, though. If you turn around to face me, you're just going to get frozen. Face me. See? What happens when you face me? You die. Look at all those hits. He's a badass. Now, imagine trying to do that before all the things that changed that made doing it possible. I'm just going to season you up. So, you know, when you understand how they work, you know that that first hit is going to stumble. Wait, didn't I put the right one on yet? The first hit is going to stumble? I thought everybody's dead. Who's not dead? Really? Way the hell back here? And that wasn't a reset? Let's make sure everything is reloaded. Wait for Barry to come back. Barry is back. See, that first hit stumbles, so you want to just not spam the trigger, wait for the stumble to happen, and not miss. Oh, you're a flamethrower? I'm turning into the side boy. Second. Who are you? You're a frostbite. All right, let's see. See if we can't stumble. Why aren't you stumbling? Is it, is it my imagination or did he just not stumble? I don't understand. Yeah, it's, it's right here. It's selected. I don't know what's going on. I really hate frostbite hitboxes. Because even when you're hitting them, you don't freaking hit them. Every last one of those are crits, and his look, his health doesn't move. And then then all of a sudden it'll just magically disappear. His health will just disappear into nothingness. See? Bullshit. Bull freaking shit. Alright, so we're going to put these away and get out our boss killing weapons. Because I don't want to be here till the heat death of the universe. I'm trying to get this done for y'all. Yeah, you're the right one. Switch to that. Uh, I'm going to switch to the SMG variant. Where is it? That's not the one. That's the one I want. And I still had ammo refill on, but I'm going to switch to that. Not that it mattered. Make sure everything is reloaded. Make sure that's working. All right. So we're coming to the end. Like I was saying, I'm just going to take a break. This is probably going to be my last video until uh, Mayhem 2.0 comes out. And then I'll start making content. It's not so much making content because I'm not a YouTuber. I just like playing the game. And I've been doing other things and well I've been messing around with stuff just not recording it because I don't think it's all that interesting. 
uh, when I'm experimenting and not particularly showcasing anything. So I have been playing. I just have not been uh, recording anything to upload to YouTube. Now that is definitely your target. Light that giant bastard up. And but that's going to change once uh, Mayhem 2.0 drops. Let's get this moving on. Let's see what we're dealing with. All right, let's let's clean up some of this. Let us clean some of this up, and then we'll focus. Whoa. Ah, uh, I don't want to waste any bullets on those guys with that. Oh my god, that he jump shot, headshot is a thing of beauty. Okay, we're good. That's enough. We don't need to spend too much time on that. Where the hell did I put it? There it is. And you go back here. I don't remember if I changed you to corrosive. I think I did. Where is it? I just had it. There it is. So our thing should be almost back. We did change it to corrosive. Five seconds. Ooh, need some cover. Uh, let's shoot the ground. <laughs> Leaving all these guys up so that we have second wind opportunities. Right, he's almost done. Let's see if we can't get. Ah, oh, crap! We screwed that up. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, we're just gonna wait for a Barry to come back. We're not playing the most efficiently right now. All right, barrier is back. We can get a little bit closer. We'll take a couple hits. We're good because we have our immunity. All right, we'll do that. Tap it twice, shoot the ground, tap it again, get her sentinel cryo out. What the fuck? Oh! We shit, 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 shit. I was trying to take advantage of it while he still had the cryo on him. Didn't work. What the fuck? That was close. That was too fucking close. Alright, fuck you guys. Now you pissed me off. Now you managed to piss me the fuck off. What the fuck? Already. <laughs> gotta get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. We're ignoring all these ads because what they are are a source of second wins for us. And um, that's what we're paying attention to. Once I get my barrier back, this is over. It's over. Let's get her. Oh, okay. Let's use our five seconds of immunity wisely. Dead matter. We have so many things to get second wins off of. And now we have our barrier back. So it's over. Let's go. You got a job to do. Goodbye. He's probably the most difficult part of this whole thing. And it's over. Alright. Let's do that. Switch. Get rid of Wotan. 
Come on, Wooten. Take it like a thing. It's almost over one. Don't run, just take it. And the takedown is over. Let's break his legs, get all our loot. Alright. That brings an end to that. Now we're going to put our main weapons back in. And we're going to use our John Wick Zane stuff to clean this up, finish it off. Alright. Here we go. Let's get these guys first. And then we'll get the ground based engines next. Who else is left? Oh, one left. We'll just season her up. Uh, let's just ask my frostbite. Y'all see all those crits, right? And you're done. Double tap that. Let's get this douchebag done. You have a badass, but you don't give two shits. You just got pissed on. And that's it. So that is the John Wick Zane build part two. And um, yeah, once again, thanks to Semantics B for making this video possible by hooking me up with my shocking AA and the searing nemesis. Uh, thanks to R and Jesus for dropping this in the wild. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And for those of you coming into this game from Steam, welcome. And I will catch you guys in the next one when Mayhem 2.0 drops later.